Today we're going to do a short little video of a mod that we've done to countless zip hubs, fulcrum hubs and industry nine hubs over the years. It's basically creating a space to so the space the bearings and the hub apart so the little preloader on the non-drive side of the axle doesn't do anything more than press the bearing against the sleeve separating the two bearings and distribute the load uh, from drive forces and rotational forces through both bearings rather than sort of isolating it mainly to the drive side bearing that's almost in the middle of the hub on the axle. This is the hub that we're going to look at today. It's a i9 um, labeled Project 321 hub and we're going to make a spacer for this axle. As you can see it's pretty well used and this hub has been through many sets of bearings and pretty much that's what these hubs do. They just chew through bearings. Okay, and so here we have the part that we've made finished. As you can see, it's a stepped shim. It's 20 mil ID at this end and 17 mil ID at this end. Um, it's got an internal chamfer sort of tapering between the two diameters. Normally they're just a straight shim, but these ones step between two different bearing diameters on the axle. So let's put this thing back together. Now this bearing adjuster will work fairly well as intended, but instead of being lightly tightened against the bearing to eliminate any side play, it will actually be done up as hard as you can possibly do it with your fingers. It doesn't really need to be much tighter, but as tight as you can get it is ideal.
and then as it would be normally intended, lock it off. And there we have a much more reliable hub.